Okay, boys and girls, Dan here, JDOD, and it is still, we're still at this thing called SAP Tech Ed. I have two very, very different guests from what we usually have. On my immediate right is Jakob Werder, Werder, Jakob Werder, who runs an online training um, and consulting organization, eLearn It, correct? And to his right is Mike Harold, who is Sybase International User Group chairperson? Uh, executive director. Executive director, even better. That means you actually do stuff, right? Uh, that's right. I Absolutely. Do. Okay. So today we're here to talk about community because community is a big topic at this particular conference and it's, it's certainly a big uh, topic for these guys. So um, starting with you, you, Mike, I mean, what are you seeing here at uh, this particular tech ed that interests you from the community standpoint? Well, I think there's a couple of things. I mean, obviously, as you said, community is huge. Um, SAP is moving in a direction that's a little different to how they've been as a company for many years, um, and there's a huge focus on developers. Um, and, you know, our organization is a technical community, uh, and so we fit very nicely into that picture. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's good to see that there, that there is a recognition that developers are important. Um, sometimes, you know, the geeks are the guys that sit behind the curtain do, make, doing all the work and uh, they don't get very much recognition. But SAP is, is very different in the fact that it is recognizing that. Um, and that's uh, obviously tremendous from what we're seeing. Uh, and then secondly, I think from the, you know, the product announcements and things that we've seen, especially around SAP HANA uh, this week and the focus again, it's all on development and all on uh, ensuring that, uh, you know, the, the interface is to HANA there and uh, people can develop applications to HANA and that HANA can obviously be the, the big thing that it's designed to be. Uh, so it's very exciting um, and, and it's wonderful to see so many people here, over 6,000 people, and, uh, and great to see that, uh, you know, all the people at SAP are interested in talking to all the attendees and the developers and, mm. and making sure that it's a you know, real good community focus. So the fact that your background is Sybase Power Builder, which may be foreign to a number of diehard SAPers, doesn't um, phase you in any way this time around because you, you feel as though you're getting the attention, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my background is actually originally database side, right. um, and, but obviously Power Builder is a, is a major uh, database development tool. Mm. Um, and yeah, absolutely. I think we, we definitely see um, you know, a different paradigm from, mm. from, from where we came from. A mm. um, lot more energy, a lot more focus, um, and, and I think just an organization that is very well set up for this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of uh, infrastructure and the way that they are pushing this business in this direction. Okay. Yakov, if you'd hand the take the mic, as they say. So, the yeah, microphone. Yeah, 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 indeed. So, Yakov, I mean, you're at the, at the coal face of this stuff, right? And You've been in and around the Power Builder community for a, quite some considerable time, right? Affirmative, close to 18 years. 18 years. Does that explain the gray hair? Uh, well, I have a large family. That might do a little bit more of exploration. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Y you were saying to me that um, at the time that SAP acquired Sybase, Power Builder had become something of a uh, an isolated unit to some extent and a little bit of a um, an outlier, but from what you're t saying now, it would appear that that's maybe in the process of change. Is that, is that something that you're saying? Affirmative. Uh, Power Builder was termed in its day the client server of, uh, uh, excuse me, it was, let me say that again. <clears throat> Power Builder was termed in its day the COBOL of client server. Oh, God, even worse, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it, what, we, what we mean by that is it, its growth far exceeded to a large degree the expectations of its founders. Okay. Um, it was phenomenal. It became a global, worldwide presence that was the tool of choice and the only tool of choice for open database connectivity in the client-server Windows arena. Okay. It was born at the nexus of all of the birth of those technologies, mm. GUI presentation, open database connectivity to uh, relational databases, as well as it's the most productive tool in its category for developing large-scale business applications. Mm. And so consequently, it just took off like a rocket ship in its day. Mm. Focus changed, however, with the Y2K issue where the focus shifted to repairing legacy code and then the internet took off and Power Builder uh, was not given by its new owners, Sybase, uh, the leeway to uh, address the new market needs. Mm -hmm. Has that changed under SAP's ownership, would you say? It's too early to tell, but what I'll say is that um, indications are very strong that SAP will embrace the popularity of Power Builder, mm. uh, its usefulness to the SAP community as a development tool for uh, building rapid applications against the HANA uh, infrastructure as well as other NetWeaver in infrastructure, and it's already been announced uh, because it's coming very quickly that there will be the 
uh, integration between the Power Builder development platform and NetWeaver, the ability to, to deploy Power Builder business objects into NetWeaver mm. and use it uh, as the middle tier strategy. W will they be able to use it as a standalone as well, as a standalone development environment within, within HANA for native applications? Absolutely. Okay, yes, so yes. you can go NetWeaver or native? Native in this case means deploying into the .NET infrastructure, right. which is IIS. Right. Yes, or the uh, Power Builder, excuse me, or the Sybase tool, which is known as EA Server, right. Enterprise Application Server. Yes. Okay. And in the context of um, community, presumably, this gives you a good reason to be thinking about revving up the community once again, I would imagine. Well, uh, I don't I'm, know. Without putting words in your ma uh, mouth, of course. Affirmative, of As course. As if I would. <laughs> um, I'm not wearing the banner right now, but uh, just this week I was given the honor of becoming an SAP mentor, mm. which indicates that because of my role as an ambassador within the Power Builder developer community, um, I'm now an ambassador within the broader SAP community, and specifically my mission is uh, de delivering to Power Builder community the fact that SAP cares and um, that in fact there is hope for the negative thinkers thinking that Power Builder was nearing the end of its very long life cycle. Right, okay. Good news so far. Your one wish from, uh, from SAP, what would that be? Give us engineering resources, please. Okay. And yourself, Mike, what would your one wish be? Um, I probably have several wishes, but I think the most important, the important thing is to, um, to ensure that, that SAP recognizes that the independent communities out there um, are critical to SAP success and, and that they bring a different voice to the table um, than what they would necessarily hear from in, internal sources. As opposed to the commercially, um, uh, commercial styles of community. That, you're saying independence beats uh, com commercial from that standpoint in terms of building loyalty and so forth, right? Right. If you bring a lot of individuals together under a community, that, yeah. you know, they tend to share the same concerns sure. as each other. Those concerns may be different from the larger organizations that a company like SAP is, is generally more in tune with. Mm. Um, so you know, as long as they continue to recognize the independent voices out there you know, as a group, then I think they'll be incredibly successful with this new direction. Okay. SAP, you better be listening. These guys make sense. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. Good to see you, boys and girls.